Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Q Nostalgia here, and today I want to talk to you guys about some of the things that have been frustrating uh, the devs lately. It's, it's been kind of getting on my nerves as well. I don't, I don't know what it could possibly be. I don't know. What, what, you know, maybe good timing, by the way, dude. Uh. So, as you can see, some people are a little spicy over here. And it reflects poorly on the overall community. There is a concern amongst devs that, well, at least one dev that I know of, that people coming into the game might see the way the community behaves and they might nope out. And I've expressed that concern myself. And it's just, it's one of those things, it sucks. Uh, but things can get a little spicy over here and I'm uh, I'm not perfect I've lashed out at people over here especially if I perceive people are complaining about the server and not in a constructive way like I get it people are gonna air their grievances but I've seen people just some of the stuff that people say it demoralizes the devs and these are people like Lard over here who are doing this for free they're spending their time to do it and they'll push an update and then people just complain about it and like I said not in a constructive way if you have a constructive criticism well we have a discord for that I'd say go over there post about it talk about it try to figure it out um, but I noticed there were a couple of interactions I had two or three interactions I've had with devs over here and they seemed a little irritated I perceived some irritation from them when I didn't mean to irritate them and they seemed like they were a little touchy and I didn't quite understand that I didn't talk about it until now um, because I, you know it's it's one of those things I understand it um, they they have to deal with working on this and then they see people in chat saying things like for example Oh, well, the devs don't have to level up like we do. That's why leveling up is so slow and it's so brutal. All right, well, there's plenty of discussion going on about about that over on the Discord. You can hop into the Discord and talk about it. You can air your grievances over there, but I don't think people should be complaining about, oh, well, the devs, they're able to just, they can make themselves any level they want. They don't have to deal with it like us. That's, you know what I mean? <laughs> First of all, if they see you saying that, they're not going to be in your corner. You're just going to piss them off even more. And second of all, it demoralizes them. And that's what my concern is, is for the devs and, and them being demoralized and the fact that I don't want to see people come onto the server, get the wrong impression, and leave. For example, one of the developers for Monsters and Memories sent me a DM on Discord and he was interested in setting it up. The next day, the very next day, there was a massive meltdown in the chat that lasted about two hours. And it was over a camp. Somebody was stealing mobs. And those people got muted for a few hours. And it's... Uh, <laughs> it's one of those things. When you've got chat that's global... When you've got a chat that's global... It's, you know, especially when it's you don't have devs that are there to take care of it all the time. They're trying to work on the game. It's kind of like the Wild West. <laughs> and I've, I've talked about this before on the server with other players. Uh, do you remember that one guy in Freeport that would just troll and he'd just say stupid stuff and he made trouble or whatever? I mean, I think every, every server had one or two people like that. And they were almost always in Freeport because that was the place to be. All right, well, now I want you to imagine there's like 10 people like him. <laughs> Five or 10. And they're not limited to Freeport anymore. They can shout across the entire game. And anytime I've been on any one of my characters, from Wolf Moon to any of my alts, and said, hey, can, you, can we chill on this? The general consensus is that people pile on to me, not the not the people who are being toxic. They pile on to me and they tell me, "Well, you can turn off the you can turn off chat." Should I should I have to turn off chat because I don't want to see people talking about sexual degenerate garbage all the time? I don't I really don't think that I should have to do that because I'm interested in talking about things in this community that have to do with the game. 
I'm interested in talking to people about different classes, different races, all the different stuff going on. And even some IRL stuff that's not, you know, like politics and all that kind of crap. And I don't think that people who don't want to talk about things like that should have to be pushed out. That's just my personal take. And every time I say that, hey, you know, what if somebody's kid is playing this? Oh, well, tough shit. And then go play something else then, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not, I don't, I don't think that that's acceptable. Am I alone in that sentiment that I don't think that that's acceptable and that people should have to see all sorts of garbage over here from people arguing and having meltdowns and people posting all this nasty stuff? I don't think they should have to do that. The Mrs. first night back into the game, she hopped on. I went to bed. Next day I asked her, I'm like, hey, how was it? Did you have fun? She's like, yeah, it was great. But chat just, I don't. These people, are they 30s and in their 30s and 40s? They were talking about all sorts of, you know, disgusting and sexual things. I'm like, yeah, you know, sometimes that happens. She's like, yeah, no, but they did it all night. And they didn't, they just kept doing it. She ignored it, but still, it, it just cast this shadow over everything. Because you're so happy to be, to be back, and you're so happy to be in the world again. And then you see people acting like that, and it just kind of takes the wind out of your sails. That's why I think that chat needs to go back to being zone-wide and not server-wide. And I know some people don't like that. I understand. I completely understand. Um, but, well, if you want gen chat and you want chat where everybody's connected, we have Discord. We live in a different age than we did back in the day. You've got Discord now. I think that Discord should be our, you know, everybody is included chat, you know, global chat, whatever you want to call it, gen chat, trade chat, OOC. I think that's where that kind of discussion should be held, and I think we should go back to having zone wide chat. Now, I spoke to the devs about this, and they said, well, that's not, you know, that's not something they're working on right now, uh, and they don't want to have to police the community. But they are talking about it. The devs have had discussions about the toxicity on the server and how they want to deal with it. Now, they haven't come to an agreement on how harsh the penalty should be for people that act a damn fool over here. But they are discussing it, and it is something that's going to be in the works. One of the devs told me they don't want to have to pull the trigger on that they're actually petitioning that that doesn't happen yet and hopefully people can act right but I know better I know better I know that it's just going to continue and the more that I try to tell people over here hey guys chill the more I get piled on the more people cut up my channel and say all sorts of nasty things to me and it's like well you know don't say I didn't warn you don't ever say that I didn't warn you guys before it started to uh, hit the fan, so to speak. Because I know they're they're talking about it. I don't know how harsh it's going to be. I don't know, but there are going to start. There's going to start to be repercussions for people who act wild. And why why do I think that that's something that needs to happen? And I can't wait for that to happen. Well, just imagine. Once again, just imagine this is the wild west. Okay. People can name themselves whatever they want. You just saw that person's name. That's not even the worst of it. I've seen way worse. So you got these banditos. They come rolling into town, right? <laughs> and they just start shooting up the town and making a bunch of noise and, and making trouble. And we got one sheriff over here. Maybe two or three sheriffs over here, right? And they're busy building the townhouse. And they're bu busy building the saloon. And they're busy building the church. And they're building the general store. And they have to stop building those things to come in and play sheriff. Over people who just can't get along with each other in camps. And people who just can't behave themselves in chat. I got a DM from one of the from one of them tonight saying, yeah, dude, Lard had to go in and deal with it. Then I had to step in and deal with it. We shouldn't have to deal with this crap when we're trying to develop the game. And he's absolutely right. I agree with him. 
Well, oh, slow down, little fella. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Here you go, dude. You got it, bro. But yeah, I don't think that they should have to uh, to stop what they're doing to come in and police things. But that's how it is. And these are people who are, they're in their they're in their thirties and forties and plus. I think you guys get get sour at that level, right? Let me give it to you anyway. It reminds me of the little little shades of gray uh, guild that we had way back. We had shades and then little shades. I don't know if they were maybe a part of that. No idea. But um, anyways, <laughs> what I, what I think is going to help them and would be my suggestion is to just, as you guys are the sheriffs over here, I think you need to deputize a few people. I think you need to deputize some folks. I think we need game masters or admins or whatever you want to call them. And I think that a GM should have a different color name. I don't know if that's possible for you guys to do that. Probably, right? Just make it red or something or orange. And then give the admins like a purple name or whatever. Just a different color so that people know when they're around. Because sometimes you don't have to say nothing. You don't have to say anything. You just have to roll in the town. And people see the sheriff coming and they're like, oh, snap. Just the other night that happened. Somebody was stealing mobs from someone over at Siliths. Siliths of all places. Do you know how many Siliths there are in the game? There's so many. But still... The second time in a row, this isn't the first time, the second time somebody went over and started peeling mobs away from somebody and it ended up with a, with a problem. This time the, the person was on their own. It was kind of he said, she said, but then there was a group with him this time and they all confirmed, yeah, he just came over and started stealing our stuff. I'm not going to name names. I don't want to dunk on anybody. That's not what I'm trying to do, but he was stealing stuff. They asked me, hey, can you come over here and record this? I need evidence. I don't have a way of recording. So I went over there. And by the time I got over there, the sheriff was already there. He was standing in the corner. And all of a sudden, everybody started acting right again. And the person that was stealing mobs just kind of moved on. He just moved on. We need more sheriffs over here. That's just the way it is. All right, I will, I will or more deputies, rather. I will throw my hat in the ring for deputy, and I don't care if that makes people salty. Some people don't like me. I've seen I've seen people talk about how, oh, he's got a chip on his shoulder, this and that. Well, I'm concerned about this community. Somebody said, oh, one of his dads is a dev. Oh, no, not really. But I respect the devs, and I respect their time, and I don't think they should have to be over here dealing with drama. When they're trying to build the town, they shouldn't have to stop what they're doing to come over here and deal with it. And that's what really pisses me off because they're pushing this quickly and then they have to stop what they're doing and they have to get caught up in some nonsense. That's not right. I don't think that that's right. Um, I think we're going to have to do something about that with, with you know, just, just getting some sheriff's deputies in here. And hopefully people can be cool about that. They don't abuse it. Because, you know, people can be egotistical and they can go too far. It's a thing. It, it can happen. Um, but that, that's kind of how it was when Sony ran the show. If you remember, they had their GMs. Uh, they, also, they also had a mentor program where people could help other people. And I think that's another thing that's pretty cool. If somehow we can get that going eventually, right? But these guys are trying to get other things developed. And the last thing they want to develop right now is the server chat. Like, they'd rather push for level 45 and new spells and new quests, and etc. But I think that maybe they're going to have to pump the brakes on that a little bit to start addressing the toxicity. And it's, it's a problem. Some of these names are a problem. I think that they should be changed. You can call me, uh, you can call me <laughs> Square or whatever, you, you know. Um. <laughs> what up, canceled? Somebody tried to cancel me, by the way. They went to one of the devs uh, about the Inclusion Quest video I made. And they made up lies about me saying that I hate gay people. I've never expressed that once. I've never said that once. I've made content that is conservative Christian... I've never said I hate these people. I look, and I want to straighten this right away. 
I don't care who comes in here and plays this game. There's all sorts of people that are going to play this game. It doesn't matter to me. I just think that we should keep our personal sexual preferences to ourselves. I think that we should we should take those things um, I don't want to be rude. I just think what we should take the personal things, you know, anything having to do with politics, sexual orientation or whatever, any of that stuff. I don't I don't think that it belongs over here. Because it just causes fights. It causes people to argue. You know? I don't care who comes over here and plays the game as long as they just they're chill about it. I think most of us don't care. If there's gay people playing EQA, I'm not it's like not, I'm not going my face isn't going to melt. I don't care. What I was saying in that video is I don't want to see activism in our games the way that uh, Daybreak is doing it. And a lot of these different companies are doing it. They're putting all this stuff and it's like, what, what does this have to do? What do Pride Lions have to do with Norath? I think we have enough of the, the diversity and all the different representation and, and all the different gods we have in the game, all the different races we have in the classes. Why do we have to bring... Why does everything have to be modern? Why does the modern world have to seep into everything that we do now? It's almost like you don't have any escapism. You can't get away from any of it because everything has to be a representation of our modern life and everybody has to be fairly represented. I, I say that everybody should just leave that shit at the door. When you log in, you're a friggin' elf, okay? Or a dwarf. Or a human, or, you know, a rat man, whatever, an ogre, a troll. I don't, I don't like people bringing real-world politics into the game. Because it causes trouble. It causes division, and people don't like it. Which is why a lot of the times where they talk about this stuff, you know, in June, etc. <laughs> Pride Month. They end up locking the forums. They'll be like, oh, we're celebrating a Pride Month this month. And then they, they lock the forum because they know it's going to cause fighting. So then why not just leave it alone? I don't hate anybody. And I think it's funny that somebody literally tried to get me canceled off of the server. They tried to get me canceled, y'all. By spreading lies about me to one of my friends who's a, de a developer. And his response was like, yeah, I, I agree with him. I don't think that shit should be in the game either. <laughs> Leave it outside the game. You want to be an activist on your own channel? All right, do your thing. You want to be an activist IRL? Go do your thing. When you come here, you've got all these different things you can be. You, there's like, how many races we got? 11 races and like 14 classes? That's plenty of diversity. You want to follow Nathaniel Marr? Go for it. Okay. You want to follow Inaruk? Go for it. Do your thing. So no, I don't hate anybody. I just I wanted to clear that up right away. I want everybody to understand that. I never said I hated anyone. I just said that that stuff is divisive and it's no good to have it in the game. That's it. So I just wanted to speak on that real quick. I wanted to speak on that and get that out of the way. I don't hate anybody. I don't even hate the people that are being rowdy. It's just, you know, it's not it's not good for the server's overall health. Um, but yeah, it's it's too much. Our devs are being demoralized by it. They're being derailed by it. People that want to come in the game and just enjoy it are being put off by it. We're probably chasing newcomers away by doing it. And I just don't really see a reason for it. There's, there's no good reason for it. So hopefully people can uh, police themselves as adults and relax on that stuff. I get pissed off too. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that already, but I can get pissed off too if I perceive that people are being nasty towards the developers and they're just complaining for the sake of complaining. And there's been times that I've popped off at people. I'm not proud of it, but you know, I try to be slow to anger. That's one of the things I try to do. But I'm a human being, I'm not a robot. All right. Because I've seen people say, oh, well, you're acting. You act like the the righteous Christian on YouTube, and then you turn around over here and you're swearing at somebody. It's like, well, yeah, because I can get pissed off sometimes. I've never made that uh, uh, a secret over here. <laughs> Anybody who's watched my channel knows that sometimes I blow up at people. It's embarrassing later on when I look back at it and I say, oh, man, I wish I didn't let them get under my skin. But sometimes it happens. 
People are passionate about things. I've been talking about this for 13 years. I've been trying to see this get rebuilt for 13 years. And it just seems to me like some people are doing what they can to try and demolish it. And yeah, it pisses me off, dude. I don't like it. And I just wanted to put this out there to let people know that the devs are getting fed up with it. They're talking about repercussions for it. So knock it off, please. They don't want to have to do it, but if it continues, they're going to do something about it. But yeah, there it is. I feel like every time I make one of these videos, people hate me more and more. But its I have to talk about this stuff. This is, this is a problem. And it's going to be addressed. And it's not me who's addressing it. I'm just warning you about it. So yeah, at this point, I want to turn it over to you guys. I want to hear what you think about it down in the comment section below. So this Delph is dangerous. Watch out, man. <laughs> she just knocked a lion over it almost. But uh, yeah, get down in that comment section. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit that notification bell, etc., etc. God bless. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.